Hi everybody, this is Vicki, Stitch and Button. Today is Thursday, September 6th, and I'm a day late. I know I said I was going to do every two weeks, but last night I was sitting here and I just didn't feel like it. It happens. I, I don't have a lot of stitching done, believe it or not. Not like I have been. I, uh... I've been doing a lot of sewing and I lost my stitchy bug for about four days or so. But I do have a little bit done, so I figured I'll do my two weeks anyway, right? I uh, don't have any finishes. I didn't do any finishing at all. I think I finished all my quick finishes for my throwdown so far. The ones that were super quick and almost done or whatever. So now I'm to the point where I've actually got to put some time into them and get them done. And with the throwdown, I've been trying not to start anything new. I, I've i been pretty good, except for this past week. I did start. I, you know, there's a couple of them I started new, but they're part of the throwdown. So I've been trying to stay away from anything that wasn't the throwdown because it's now September, and I have until December, and I've finished 11 of them, but I still have 14 to go. Some of them are small. I still have here line my needles, and I only started that, just, so I just only had the center done. So I have some that I have to put some work into. I, uh, let's see. Let's start with what I've actually been stitching on. Uh, for my throwdown, I've been stitching on this photo booth. This one is Frank and Boo. I've already done the snowmen, and then I have this one, and I have, uh, I have the New Year one, and I think I have, um, I might have the turkey one, I'm not quite sure. Anyway, but I have this one, this is part of my throwdown, so I started that one. I think last week I showed that I can't fix it, feature it. Yeah, because he's low, but I'll probably put it on something anyway where I won't even need the extra. So far, I have finished the top block, and for Steph, I made sure I put in the mouths and the eyes. She was freaked out. And then... I moved down, I, I'm i using Black Crow instead of what it called for because that's what I had and I wanted to make sure that I was going to have enough. I think I'm going to have enough. So I had done a lot of the black and then until I decided I was going to have enough. So I moved down a little bit and then I realized the green that I had in here, which is the same here, is actually the wrong color. It's a little light that's supposed to just go in here. <coughs> the green so I had to pick that out and put in the darker green but I'm leaving that because it, it's fine and it'll be just fine so that's what I've got done on that and then I have the one new start my new start I couldn't help it I keep on seeing it on Instagram I know that uh, I think it's Catty Sue Cats I forget what her Instagram is. Something like that. She's actually doing two of these at the same time. One for her, one for her mom. I know Mama Jones working on it. Um, I've seen it a couple of other places. I've had this kitted for eight years. I had uh, gone to Bush Mountain Stitchery before they even, that's how long it's been, before they moved back up to Massachusetts. And I saw this and I had to buy it right away. I fully kitted it, and I've had it sitting ever since. It's uh, One Nation by Bygone Stitches. Love this. I'm using the called for threads, not the called for fabric. I am pretty sure it is called, I'm trying to think, um, Creek Bed Brown, I think it's called. I think it's an R&R &R reproduction, if I'm not mistaken, or a lakeside, one of those. But I had fully kitted it. And I've seen it so much, I said, you know what? I'm going to start it. Doesn't mean I'm going to just dedicate myself to it, but i got to start it. So I've got a little bit of a start on this one. Here's the fabric. That's showing pretty true. And I just threw it in a hoop. I usually use Q-snaps with this fabric so big. And uh, so I've got a little bit done. That's not actually black. It is blue. I don't know why. Even in the pictures, it shows black, but it's blue. It's the, and, and it's not even, um, I think they call for, uh, crescent colors. It's way back when it was actually crescent colors. So 
So that's how old it is. And I'm using my Bitsy Bob from Kelly. Here it is. Yeah, they're the actual Crescent colors. I had the rest of them in a baggie. But the Bitsy Bob works for this because it's only three colors and I can remember which colors are which. Makes it easy. So I've only got a few links in there, but I like the progress that I got on it. I uh, haven't stitched anything else. I've been doing a lot of sewing. Uh, and I'll show you what I, uh, some of what I've been doing. I have been watching some flaws too, but I've gone out. I go through spurts sometimes. I'm just like, I don't feel, I feel like watching Netflix. So I hadn't watched flaws too. So I, I caught up to, well, I think I've caught up with most of the regular ones that I watch. And then I threw in some extras and I, uh, started watching Broadway Stitcher, Carmen from Broadway, Broadway Stitcher. She is on Instagram and on Floss Tube. She just started a Floss Tube. And I, she's a who, she watches a lot of, uh, she goes to a lot of shows, obviously the name. And which piques my interest because I've worked on costumes. I've worked backstage. My mom did it for a living. So it, I definitely like hearing her stories about that. I also, I had started watching before and then when I got behind, I started, I lost track of it. I was watching some of the Heather Link is my homeboy. I watched a couple of her. I don't think I watched like the last one or two. I still have to catch, finish catching up there. And I uh, caught up with the distracted stitcher. I think distracted stitcher. I've, I've caught up with her finally too. I think I was like two or three behind on hers. So I think I've caught up on some, and there's a couple of new ones. Um, to Die House, I'm gonna write that down. To Die House, a lot of people have been watching her. I'm not caught up on hers, but I have been. I think I watched the first four of hers. It's not enough hours in the day, and sometimes when I'm sewing, I can't hear. Sometimes I try to turn it up loud, but the sewing machine and it's a cheapo, so it's it's kind of loud, and I can't always watch off Lost Tube when I'm sewing. So those are the ones that I'm watching, and I'll link those in the description box. I also had been sewing. So I'll show you. This one actually, so I put it up yesterday, and it sold yesterday. I've been using, uh, instead of putting them on Etsy, I've been putting them on my Instagram page that I opened up, Stitch in Button Crafts. And uh, you can, I'll link it all below. I'll put the names below. And go ahead and follow it because I've been putting a lot of stuff up on there like the bags and stuff this one actually already sold this is uh, spider web I called it I made the uh, zipper pull with it this is supposed to be glow in the dark I was talking to Mally Jen dark side stitcher and she said they just don't make the glow in the dark like they used to she said she had to put it in front of the light for a while and you could barely see it but I still think it looks cool so it doesn't matter whether it glows or not for me and uh, hopefully the person who bought it really loves it I have enough I was just looking before I start my video I have enough to, I think to make three more bags so I think I'm gonna make them because maybe I'll even have enough to keep one for myself I don't know but that one is already sold I also made a trade with Steph from uh, just keep stitching I'll show you I got some some stuff in and we made a trade I traded her this bag I'm I have to make the zipper pull for it I'm gonna I'm pretty sure I still have uh, Christmas stocking charms she loves her polka dots her red and her polka dots and she needed something Christmassy so we traded some charts for this bag and then I had this other fabric I got for a custom order and I had enough to make a bag and she fell in love with it. I'm just waiting for the charms. I, I ordered charms or little panty charms, believe it or not, to go with this fabric. It says put your big girl panties on and deal with it. And we picked out this really cool purple fabric. That's about, I'm trying to get it. It's about as true as it's gonna get. But that, and it actually matches like this pair right here so I'm waiting for the charm to come in so I can uh, make I, I make zipper pulls to match all my bags I the zippers I have these ones have like these little rice and reminds me of a piece of rice 
So I like to put the zipper pulls on, plus they're a little blingy. And I gotten custom orders. So what I did was she wanted a small and a large bag. So I did that. And I have to make the zipper. I just finished these like yesterday. That's the inside. And then here's the outside. It's these cute sloths. And here's the accessory bag that goes with it. I have another bag set that she wanted me to make. Sorry about that. And that's where I got the one fabric from. And these fly and sew machines. I had to get a coordinating fabric for the leftover that I have. But, uh, and I'm waiting for those charms to come in to make the panty zipper pulls for these. That's going to be cute. And any bags that I've, like I said, any bags I've been making go on my uh, Instagram account. I have not put them on Etsy. I'd rather just put them on Instagram. Because, especially when it's like a one and done type thing, I don't always have enough fabric to make more. I made this one. This one's on my Instagram account. This one did not sell yet. Here is the zipper pull for it. It's a little jack-o'-lantern. And the inside fabric is, are these maple leaves. Orange snowflakes? I don't know. I, I still think it's cute. Little smiling faces. So he's available. And he is showing up on my Instagram account. I have this one still available. Betty Boop. She's got a little heart charm. Betty's cute and sassy. I have this one available. It's a red, white, and blue nautical. It's got a flag charm and silver anchors, fireworks, and sailboats. And then I have this one up also. This one's got an anchor, and I just got a new charm, sailboat charms, to go with other sailboat fabric I have. And there's the back. I also still have this available. It's an accessory bag. Little zipper charm. I'm zipper charm, duh. Scissor charm. And the colors match the fabric. And there's your inside with pockets. I started making Ort bags, and I've sold quite a few of them. I, I these ones I did put up on my Etsy because I've been there I can make you know a few at a time this one has fireworks and polka dots and then I did some beading as a little uh, accoutrement this one is Doctor Who And according to Stitchy Witch, and I guess now that I'm looking at it, yeah, it is. She's right. It's an Ood. It just looked different because he had some armor on for me. And I have another Doctor Who. And this one is the opposite of the blue one. This is the polka dots on the outside and the fireworks on the inside. Some buttons, red buttons. I've got this stitch in fabric. And I put little stitchy buttons on there. Little wooden painted buttons. This one's got a sew machine. And then I have I have two of those up there. So that and this one I have not put up on my Etsy yet. This one's gonna go up there. This is for Halloween. And then the newest thing in my store. I got floss tube itchy nose. The newest thing in my store is this needle minder. It's a Ouija planchet, and I think I have like four of these left. Sold a couple, got four of these left. So if you're interested, that's on my Etsy, and that'll be linked below. 
I forgot to do the little giveaway for the Mill Hill kits. And I guess since they're two totally different things, like I said, they they don't have the perforated paper. The, the biggest selling point on these is you get the extra beads and threads that are there and uh, the chart. So if you are interested, just put, I'd like to stitch the country barn for this one and for this one just I'd like to stitch the witch don't put giveaway be 18 be nice if you were a subscriber or follower and I do have oh I was looking at my country barn and I noticed I was missing something on it it has these little black beads up here well I had a hole I'm like what went there so I looked at the picture I was like oh but then I realized I have a chicken charm and since my cow is oversized I figure why not have an oversized chicken because that didn't just look like a hayloft it almost looked like a chicken nest so I added the chicken and I put um, just some cream felt on the back and two magnets because it's a little heavy with the ceramic charm and the metal charm and that is going on my fridge so it's an ffo ffo right <laughs> and what else did, this is going to be a short one i had oh last weekend i decided to okay rabbit hole let's back up and coffee. Good morning. <laughs> Years ago, I made uh, necklaces for a wildlife preserve or reservation or sanctuary, you want to call it. It was local here in Okeechobee. And she had lions and tigers and bears, oh my. And monkeys and llamas and I think there was a couple of gators anyway so she had all these animals and it was really poor I mean you go around it was muddy and everything like that she didn't have a lot of funds to do what she needed to do and she had some volunteers and it was just a lot of work and I noticed she had this little tiny gift shop and I thought well Maybe I can help her out by making little necklaces and she can sell them for a few dollars. And I just gave, I, so I approached her and I told her, hey, I'd like to make you these necklaces. I don't want any money for them. I just want to make them so maybe you could sell them in your little gift shop and make some more money. So she agreed. Well, I get all this stuff in. I make them. I'm trying to contact her, trying to contact her. It took a couple of weeks and she finally gets back to me. We decide to meet up. And I drive all the way out there. Now, when I say all the way out there, it's about 15, 20 miles out there in the middle. Of, it's down the road and another road and, then, you know, one lane bridge. And it's back in the middle of nowhere. Anyway, so I get all, all the way there and she's not there. Nobody's there to get them. And I finally just got fed up. I was like, well, she didn't want them. Then why bother and waste my time? A few months after that. She ended up closing down anyway. She just lost the fun. She couldn't take care of the animals the way she should and could and needed to. So she, I, they were dispersed to other places. So the past few weeks, actually a couple months, I've been going through stuff. I'm revamping some stuff. I've already done some and I've got some more. I've got some stuff over here I'm going to reorganize in a closet that's got some space that's not being used that can be. So in doing all that, the past couple months, I've been coming across these necklaces that I made. There's 24 of them. I sort of bundled them together because they were getting all mixed up, but they all have animals on them. And I thought, what am I going to do with these? You know, I, yeah, I, I can make scissor fobs and zipper pulls and stuff like that, which, but I already have, I have more of these charms and I've made zipper pulls and stuff like that, which is on my Instagram also if you're looking for zipper pulls but anyway so I made all these there's 24 of them and they're little tchotchke necklaces and I thought that you know I remember when my kids were little they love stuff like this 
So it got me thinking and I started looking at animal sanctuaries in the area to see what was around. And there's one all the way down in Punta Gorda. It's about two hours away. And that one's uh, $10 per adult, $5 for kids. And it's all volunteer based and all donations, nonprofit. You know, there's a few of them. There's a, quite a few of them in, in the Florida area. Obviously, it's a lot of wildlife down here. But then I found one that was closer. It's in Jupiter, um, which is cl that coast is closer to me. It's about an hour away from me. So I went and looked up other places on that side and I found Bush Wildlife uh, Sanctuary. I think that's what they call it, Bush Wildlife Sanctuary. And I could put the link below also. I looked it up. It's actually free. They asked for donations, but it's free to go. And Frank's daughter was going to be with us for the weekend. So I said, hey, let's go over. So we went over. And I meant to take the necklaces with me. But, you know, best laid plans, you're going to forget something. And we went. And it was a good time. It was hot. So I think the next time I go, it's going to be October. It's hot. It's humid. But it was cool. I, I put a bunch of things up in my um, Instagram stories. And they had, they, they don't have, like, tigers and stuff. They don't have a lot of what's not native to Florida there. They, they're not equipped or, I don't know, I'm trying to think of the word. It's not what their mode is. It, they're trying to do for local, and they try to rehab the animals so they can put them back out in the wildlife. They're not trying to run a zoo. They're trying to save the animals, put them back in the wildlife, and if they can't be, then they will take care of them if they have the resources to do so. They reclaim their own water, they do a whole bunch of great stuff there, and they have some little educational things, an amphitheater. So we went there, and when we got there, the gift shop was closed for lunch. So we walked around and did our little tour thing, and boy, were we hot. So by the time the gift shop opened, we were definitely, I would have paid $10 for a bottle of water. It actually didn't cost that much. I We bought, they were two small Gatorades and a regular bottle of water, and it was less than $5, which when you think of a gift shop at any of those places, you think it's going to be $15, which I was expecting to pay, whatever. So I went in, and the lady that opened up the gift shop, she happened to be the gift shop manager, and I told her what I had, and I asked her if she wanted them. I told her, I unfortunately, I forgot them, so I asked her if she wanted them because I don't want to just, you know, hear stuff. And she said, actually, yes. She said, anything that has the animals that they hold. Now, I know they have a bobcat and they have Florida panthers and they have an alligator and a crocodile, both American. They also have eagles and different type of waterfowl and a couple of otters and stuff. Now, I have, I'm looking, I have alligators and they have turtles. So, I have turtles, alligators, bobcats, and then I have some tigers and, um, a lion tooth charm so what she said I told her I said well I have 24 of them I had made them for this other place but they since shut down and I'd rather them go to someplace good so you guys can make money so she agreed to take them unfortunately I am not going to drive down there anytime soon so I think I'm just gonna pack them up in the mail and write her a note to remind her you know this is what I was talking about and then I'll go down in October when it's cooler because it's just too hot and I'm going to send them. She said the only thing is, is that they're more interested in the in the animals that they have there to sell. So what she'll do is she's going to sell the ones. She'll put the ones for sale that are on the animals that they have. And the animals they don't have, she's going to put aside so she can give them to the disadvantaged children. Or you know, just children that can't afford to get a gift. She has something to give to them. Which I thought was really good. You know, it's given back and given back on top of giving back. Because why not? So, I tell you that so you can maybe go and do the same thing. I'm not saying give them something, but maybe you want to take a look and see what the wildlife sanctuaries are in your area or the preserves or whatever. We have a free preserve where you can walk around. There's gators and everything. They're huge. It's There's no safety nets, you know, but we've been there and it's really cool. I saw blue herring. I've seen tons of gators along the, the shores, that, along the banks of these lakes and stuff 
it's pretty cool. It's a day out. It's good education for your kids, especially if you know a little bit about the animals, or maybe you can look them up together. So I thought maybe, and if you go to a reserve or a sanctuary, maybe you can give them a donation if you have the money to do so. If you don't have the money to do so and it's free, then take advantage of the free day out. Why not? I mean, you know, I don't have a lot of money and I gave a little bit, but I'm sure, you know, if I didn't have anything, they, they don't mind. They just want to educate and it's fun and it's a good day out for you and the kids. So take your own water. I should have taken water and I didn't. But uh, something to do. And I will be shipping those to them. So I don't have, I'm looking around because last time I forgot like three different things. And oh, what I got. I forgot. To show, I got a box. When I order from um, the whole Stitch and Caboodle, I usually have her hold it for me and send me one big box at a time. These are the charts that I traded Steph for the bag. These are, um, I got one of her cards. Look how cute that card is. Love that. I uh, was actually really looking for this, and she had two of them. So that was a big score for me. Don't know when I'm going to start it, but I love it. And I kept on saying it, and I kept on going no. And then finally, I was like, yes. And then I got this whale. I think this is adorable. I don't even know if I'll put August in there. I might just do the whale. Love that. It's by heart and hand. It's August uh, Joyful Journal. This one is Halloween Sampler, by the way. If you didn't read that, it's Cottage Garden Halloween Sampler. And then there's Halloween Parade from Heart and Hand. Because everybody should love a uh, Wizard of Oz comment, quote. So that's what I had traded with Steph. Oh, if you don't watch Stitch and Jules, you should. She does, she's funny. She's just, she's just like, you know what, real life, here it is, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I love her. She does a lot of large projects. She, I, not very many smalls, trust me. She does a lot of large projects, and one of the things that I that I saw her doing was one called Ronnie Rowe, and she says Ronnie Rowe like 75 times. But when I was uh, in a live show with the whole Stitch and Caboodle, she was getting rid of stuff, which we call the magic closet. It's the closet where she keeps all her stash, and we call it the magic closet. Two of the items I scored are Ronnie Rowe's. My boyfriend Frank was a Navy SEAL, and my mom used to take me to Penn's Landing to see the tall ship shows every year in Philly. So this is Ship Qu Tranquility. And it's all dots. It's all one color. They tell you you're going to need, uh, on 18 count, you'll need five skeins of 413. That's what they use, 413. So I got that one. And then I got Ship Concordia. Love that. Ronnie Rowe. And then when I got it, I realized I'm missing Ship Serenity. So if anybody's got that and would like to trade or something, let me know, please. Because I do want Serenity also, because I might as well have the set. So I got those. And then this one caught my eye. This one's called Smoky Mountain Quilt Show. It is by Linda Myers. I don't know if she's still, if this is out of print or whatever, but I just... It really caught my eye. I like the quilts. I like the whole little barn scene. I have no idea when I'm going to start it. But it's not about the starts. It's about the having, right? I did not have delivering needlewares. Actually, I think I do. Actually, I think this is a duplicate. I'll have to look. And if it is, if anybody's interested, I think I do have two of these. If anybody's interested in a trade, contact me. Because I think I went to put it away or in my app, which I probably should have looked at, and I found it in there. I also got a good deal. I think this is only like 2 or $3 because she was trying to get rid of it. It's called Sweet Liberty. It's by Twisted Threads. It's uh, Dan DiPaolo, Paolo, Fried Green Tomatoes Art. I thought that was cute. Cute. Little swirlies. Alright, I also got 
this one I know I didn't have delivering autumn because who doesn't like a black cat and a whole bunch of pumpkins and a crow and speaking of crows Halloween delivery Plum Street samplers love that trying to the windows giving me a bad glare there love that one I also this one I don't think I'll do it as a bell pull but I really like it was a good price but I like that and I like that and I love the sunflower and look at that mug. so I think I'll take the parts like they did and do other things with them but I, I won't make it into a bell pull I know that that's creepy I also, Art to Heart, Winter Friends, it says winter, a time to gather friends. And it looks like they do it in two different colorways. One's on Ada, one's on linen. But I think, it looks like they use different colors on the set. I'm looking on the back. I'm wondering if they didn't do one in DMC and one in the Overdyes. Because they have DMC and Weeks. I'm looking on the back to see if they say it. Yeah. Models show winter friends in weak dye work floss on weak dye work sea foam linen. 30 count over two threads and stitched in DMC on Zwagger Ada Confederate Gray 14 count. So there you go. I was right. So one is on linen with the overdyes and one is on Ada with the DMC. And it calls for... Uh, add buttons with metric. Oh, it came with the buttons. <laughs> I didn't even realize it. It came with the buttons that go on it. I'll be doing mine on probably linen. And I don't really like Weeks Dye Works, so it knots on me. So if I happen to have the Weeks Dye Works, I'll probably use it. And then I'll sub out for what I have in hand. I think I'm going to start a... I'm going to go through my Sooner book in between since I can't start anything why not kit a whole bunch of crap right so but I want to do like stitch from stash type kitting so I want to go through the stuff that's sooner and kit that stuff up with what I have on hand and see how that goes and hopefully I don't make myself start stuff too but this one was actually a good deal I, I forget how much I paid for this one but it came with the chart for this biscornu and I can barely see what it's just got a little bit of scroll work and some, it's a Jeanette Douglas. It's called Tiny Christmas Biscornu Ornament 2008. But it came with the, as a kit, no, let's open it. How about that? Are you, are you busy? Are you rushed? You can't look. At first I thought that was fabric. It's not, it's just cute tissue paper. Okay, let's see what it has. Oh, 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 huh piece of thread flung at me it's got the beads and those look at those little hearts how cute it's got the threads the beads and the fabric so it looks like it'll stitch up quick i've actually never done a biscor new although i have a few charts and things it's not that i'm afraid of. i just never got around to them i guess i don't know but i think they're cute all right then I also bought Beach Cottage. And honestly, I don't know if I'm going to do the uh, the alphabet on this. I may, I may not. I might actually just omit the alphabet and move that bottom border up and call it a day. But I really like that. Look at that whale. Can you, just, can you stand it? Look at that whale. I can't. And then I've been watching this one for a while and I couldn't, I, I, I had to. It's never more... From Hanzite, Hanzite, and this is so bulky. Look at a huge head. Anyway, I think that's what actually stopped me from getting it was this giant head. But I'm sort of glad I did because look how nasty mine looks compared to the white one that's there. Mine looks like they just dug it up. I'm sort of digging that, digging it because it's dug up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This one, traveling stitcher. This is, actually has the classic color works in it. And 
then I like that whole thing. And I think since I've been sewing these bags, I'm pretty sure I can probably wing it and uh, get that bag done too. If I ever get it stitched, but it does have the, came with the threads. I also finally broke down and bought this one. Good old Bessie with milk. And a friend of mine made a trade with me and well, I wanted to send it. She was like, no, nothing's free. What can I get you? So I said, this is on my wish list. This cracks me up. I, the head popped off. Come on. Tell me you didn't just laugh. If you didn't laugh, please just please go take a Prozac because that's funny. Okay, because I did uh, Windy Day by Vivian Bales. I know I've shown that if you go in. Haha, <laughs> let me uh, trump up my own sh my own <laughs> videos. Go to video two. You'll see Windy Day where his head blew off because it was a windy day. This is going to get stitched up and put right next to Windy Day because why, why not? Sue Hillis is friggin' hysterical. Um, Christina Alaska and her mom used to do a uh, lot of designs and I've gotten to talk with her. She's very sweet. She is widgets and wool primitives and I have a couple of these and I, look at that hat and the sheep. I love it. That hat. Ah, I think my mom's got a big old floppy hat like that, believe it or not. And then somebody gifted this to me. I, I wanted this for a while. And a friend of mine from the whole Stitch and Caboodle actually gifted this to me. It's called Seeds of Freedom by Silver Creek. And I just love it. The whole history of it. The whole patriotic of it. The we just got real of it, right? Don't sugarcoat it. Some shit went down back in the day that shouldn't have and... You know, we're still trying to fix it. But I like that a lot. And then I got for a cold discount because she was trying to get rid of stuff. This Bent Creek Spring Snapper Land. Let's see if I have them in order. I think I have them in order. So it goes Cottage. And then Hive because bees. And then there's these great chickens. That's Coop. And Hutch. Because you need a bunny. And this came with... No, I'm not going to use the snaps. I mean, some they, they have snaps in them. And it came with a whole bunch of snaps. And the buttons. I'm not going to use... I've never... I know people like them. I've never gotten the whole putting snaps on them thing. So if anybody actually needs the snaps for anything, let me know and I'll pop them in an envelope and send them to you. But I'm not going to use them. All right. Um, put a button. A snap just never made sense. I'm not snapping anything onto it. And then I really can't show you this one. It's a snowman. It's uh, trinkets token, uh, by tokens and trifles. And it's a kit. It's not really a kit. It's a chart and the perforated paper. And you pop that out and it's its own little um, ornament. This one happens to have a snowman face on it. Looking up with... Um, so it's fully stitched. The whole entire thing's fully stitched. And it's got a snowman head on it. Um, it's 18 count. It's pretty cool. And then I also bought, I bought two of these, the other ones in my stitching bag, Snag Nabbit, because I needed it a few times. And I was able to get those from Jen over at uh, the whole stitching the boodle. And my very last thing is, I don't think, I don't know if it has a picture or not. This is called Webby Pumpkin Fob from uh, Susan Greening Davis. It says, still stitching. I'm looking to see if there's a picture. There is not. Basically, it's a web with a spider coming out, out, out off of one corner on the back end. And then on the front end, it's just a very simply backstitched pumpkin. But it came with all the stuff. I, the wool roving that goes in it. The needle. Oh, wait, there is a picture. 
See, now I would have done... I don't know. I think I'd do the... Maybe I'll do that. And then I'll also put another spider just in the corner on the back. Just so it has something on the back. What do you think? And maybe a charm. I have pumpkin charms. I could put one on the back. So it sort of matches. Maybe I'll stitch the pumpkin. I didn't realize... Where's that? Well, Susan Greening Davis, you didn't really um, chart too well, did you? Because it really looks like, real quick, it's lines. There's nothing saying what to fill it in with. Um, I guess that's when you actually have to read the instructions. Gotcha. Anyway, learn something new every day. I, uh... I'm thinking maybe I'll stitch the pumpkin on one side and the web and put a spider charm. And then on the opposite side, I'll stitch the spider and the web and put a pumpkin charm. Switch it up. That'd be cute as a fob. It came with the fabric and the threads and the little ribbon to hang it. So that's cute. And that was it. That's all I got. All right. So, if you are interested in the Mill Hill kits, I'd like to stitch the Country Barn, or I'd like to stitch the Witch. If you're interested in both, say so. I, I'm just going to do a random name poll. Not too many actually respond to my giveaways anyway, so I have a feeling I'll probably have, like, two people. But that's okay. I don't care. I, uh... The giveaways will eventually get better. I just haven't prepared myself, honestly. And I'd rather give those away than why sell those. So, don't say giveaway. If you haven't pressed the subscribe button, I'd love it if you did. And don't forget to hit the little bell so you'll actually get notifications when I put these little videos up. And I hope everybody has a great day. Don't forget, don't let anybody steal your sunshine. And my often said motto, if you can't fix it, feature it.